Holy cow, roller booters, it finally happened. We've been asking and talking about this for quite some time, and just four short hours ago, as of the recording of this video, Rosis, Rosis, Roaches, announced Kate Bedrada, Ukrainian shredder. She has her own YouTube channel. She mentions this is started in 2016, but at least at the time of writing here, she says, uh, what's up guys? Long story short, my name is Kate and I'm a blady from Ukraine. Whole life since birth, I have been connected with extreme sports and for five years now, I have been involved in roller bladdering culture. And uh, so yeah, just today, she was on, this was uh, how many, this was 86 weeks ago. I wish Instagram would just tell us like how many years ago. I can't math, dude. But anyway, she was on Razors. When I say on Razors, she skated at Razors. Um, and she, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Up until right now, I had heard her name, but I didn't hadn't seen much of her like clips or content. But she is an absolute ripper, and it makes it makes sense. of course as I say that she falls. Um, but she really does have mega steez. She this was just uh, whatever a few months ago or whatever. Um, there in Ghetto Games, I guess this was the Ghetto Game camera. Bobby Spazov, sick. Um, anyway, third place, Cape Pedrada, uh, Anik. Kirkhoff's first place, and then Kali Randme. So third place, killing it on the, oh no, I'm having a brain fart. Junos? Junos? I just know them as the Boba Fett M12s now. I don't know, man. Anyway, so just today, this was posted. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this photo. This is literally one of the most stunning rollerblading photos I've ever seen. Maybe just photos in general. Anyway, it looks like she's on some big crazy Lego thing. I really do want to know like actually what facility this is. But anyway, uh, yeah, four hours ago. We are so proud to announce that Kate is now officially part of our team. Congratulations. Really cool. This is the first female on the team in quite some time. It's It's been a, a little bit of a point of contention how Rosies, they have their four big pros, really. You know, uh, Nils, Udo, Bobby Spazov, and Ilya. Um, but no females in there. But anyway, down here we can see Rosis ambassador, Kate Bedrada. And so this is all great. First official woman on the team. Super congrats, Kate, from Mary Munoz. Um, But we were a little bit confused, to be honest. We were a little bit confused. We said, okay, what's the difference between flow, ambassador, what's the difference, uh, flow, ambassador, amateur? And unfortunately, on the Rosie's website, I don't have it pulled up right now, but they don't tell us who they're... They don't tell us who their skate team actually is. So it's a little bit, unless unless there's it's hidden somewhere on their website that I just cannot see. Um, they go through like their whole like lineage and timeline, but unfortunately, and Rosies, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments, but I cannot find who is on your pro team, who is on your am team, who is on your ambassador team. Um, so what we did, I can't remember who in the chat mentioned it. I'm so sorry. I've been trying to be better about giving people credit for giving me these ideas, but they mentioned, they said, hey, why not call, call the legend himself, Ricardo Lino, to ask him, what's the difference between am, what's the difference between flow, what's the difference ambassador, what's all this stuff? So we gave him a call and this is how it went. The big question that we have for you, Ricardo, is what's the difference between an ambassador versus flow versus amateur? Do you know within Rossi's the hierarchy what that kind of looks like or no? I honestly, oh, huh? to be fully honest, I don't think they use the flow name. Mm -hmm. I I really don't know. I know that they did. From what I know, and I may be wrong. There's four pros, only, mm -hmm. and the four pros that they have, that means that they get a salary and they get like a travel budget and each one of them should have a pro model per year. And that is Nils, Yuto, Ilya, and Bobby. Mm -hmm. The others, I think, I, I I really don't know. I know that Grant had a, a, a signature model, wasn't a pro model. Right, right. Model. And I don't really know what the, the ambassador means. I think it means that they are connected to the brand but not getting a salary right. and instead of just calling low they're probably using a different name yeah. but I, I may be wrong i got you i got you yeah well to further complicate things they from what i can tell on their website they don't have it like laid out like usd or whatever has their team like pro am like legend blah blah, blah. like they have it laid out pretty well but on on, the... on on defense on on defense of of roaches 
and uh, I have no connection at all with Rogers. I, I do love the whole team, but in defense of Rogers, I think they have one of the only teams that it's actually a real team. You know, if you look at all the other brands, you don't know who's on the team. These guys, it's a team. It's four people. That's it. Mesmer is also like that. It's been growing a bit like with the with the flows or with the, the non-pro skaters. But yeah, I guess these two are the only ones. So maybe, maybe I'm wrong. No, no, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, so it is obvious for anyone that's watching Rossi's at all. And I'm going to I'm going to pronounce Ro- Rossi's a different way. I've been told every Roches. single Rossi's. <laughs> I was pushing Roaches. Roaches. Um I, I say Roses and I used to get just burned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Roaches. Roaches. Who was the last they were saying Dawn. I forget her last name. Dawn. Because it's been a long time, at least from what I understand, um, that they've had a female on the Roaches team. Roskate per ear. <laughs> right? I got my cat. Yeah. Complaining about myself. <laughs> He's like double that. What's his or name? Or as naughty as he is. Oh, he's, he's pissed. N- way naughty. He saw me anyway, on the screen. So- yeah, he saw me on the screen, so get me away from him. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's awesome to see. And she's an absolute ripper, uh, Kate, here. And so I, I know we're all super ecstatic to see her as an ambassador. Thank you so much. And have a good weekend. And to everyone watching this, have a good weekend or a good day whenever they watch it. So. Yeah, thank you so much, Ricardo. Thanks Cheers. for coming on. Congrats. Have a good one, brother. See ya. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for Ricardo Lino for taking my random phone calls. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Congratulations to Kate Bedrada for becoming uh, the first lady on the Orosis team in quite some time. So congratulations on that. And... Also, be on the lookout for the new, I think it's the fifth element that Rose has teased right here. Deep Purple, 6 November 2023, so it's just three days away. Uh, people in my chat, the homies in chat, tell me this is an, I'm sorry, a fifth element cuff, so that's exciting. Um, anyway, roller, roller booters, thank you for being here. Consider subscribing. I will see you on the next, on the next video. I can't talk.